Hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world and the world to New Zealand. And I've been I've been spending the last 24 hours or so ruminating over the uh, the French lady who did the poo in public. Um, I mean, I, is it just that we still haven't really let that Rainbow Warrior thing go? I think we we really rail against French people coming here and dropping bombs. Too soon? Really? It was like a long time ago that... Anyway, all right. Uh, but in saying that, surely now that everybody in the country and indeed in other places in the world have seen her uh, doing her business, is that not punishment enough? I feel like it might be. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying perhaps the best way... I don't think she's going to do that again. Let's let's put it that way. Um, I mean, she'll do that again, just not in public. It's, I mean, she has to do it again, otherwise she'll die. That's science. Um, we've got uh, the, the, the usual interesting choice of name for a storm. Stella uh, wreaking havoc on the, the eastern seaboard of the United States. Uh, that's not a bad name for a storm. Stella. I wouldn't mess with Stella. I've known a few Stellas, and they've all been pretty hard-ass bitches. And I think you, Stella's a storm you take seriously. It's weird, isn't it, how people just sort of live up to their names sometimes? Like, all the Damians I've ever known, they've really been troublemakers. I, that's not really relevant, but I just thought I'd bring that up, especially if Damien's watching. You know you know who I'm talking about, Damien. Um, Trump is trying to bring everybody together and get behind Trump Care or uh, an Obamacare or whatever he ends up deciding to call it. Uh, there's a few people in... The, uh, the Republican Party who aren't fans of the legislation and he's 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 called those people the Freedom Caucus I think they're, they're, they're known as I don't know why they're known as that but that's what they are known as he's 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 called them to the White House for some temp and bowling uh, using the temp and bowling alley which I think we've all got one of those in our house haven't we uh, so and, and uh, that always works there's nothing really brings people together like uh, a few brews and some temper bowling except if i'm playing i tend to get really aggro because i can never understand why it's so hard you know you've got this big heavy ball those things seem quite light at the end all you've got to do is track that at them they all fall over why does it not happen why are they not falling over that's it tends to be how it ends up with me and i feel like that's perhaps not the way to unify the republican party but i could be wrong about that given that I'm not a Republican, an American, or at the White House. We're going to finish up with uh, another painting update. Um, so the thing with having a team of painters in your house is uh, they, they play uh, terrible radio stations very loudly, uh, while they, that seems to be essential to make them paint better. And also they have loud conversations about things that you're not really interested in, and which they find hilarious. All this stuff is going on around the time that I would normally go to sleep because I get up at the middle of the night to come to work. Uh, so as a result, it's been three days so far and I'd not had a sleep during the day, uh, which then prompted one of my children to ask last night, can you die of sleep deprivation? Which didn't cheer me up at all, actually. And um, I, I, So I'm going to do some research on that and make sure that uh, having people painting my house is not actually life-threatening. I'll get back to you on that tomorrow. Thanks so much for having me up your periscope. I'm Glenn ZB. We'll see you tomorrow.